I hope you are having a blessed day. We are back today to start our next project. This is going to be a jelly roll project and we're going to be using six and a half inch strips and nine inch strips. And we're gonna be using at least one hull jelly roll, if not more, depending on how large you want to make your, uh, your quilt. I tend to make smaller quilts, so I have a poppycot chick-a-doodle-doo, I think it's called. I'll show it to you later. I have a jelly roll that has 44 strips, and I'm gonna be using every last one of them. So my quilt will end up being about throw size, which is about as big as I can handle. Let me get set up over at the cutting table, and we will get started. All right, YouTube, here we are. This is poppy cotton and it is chick-a-doodle-doo for 44 two and a half inch strips and look at all these yummy colors and oh my goodness look at that there's chickens happy little chickens oh that is epic this has 44 strips as always they are two and a half inches wide we will measure these and I'm going to see if they are too big or too small. They are too big and they're not consistent. Always measure your jelly roll. The line, the bottom line is just poking out of the valley of the peak up here. And then on this end, the peak of the pink edge is hitting the two and a half. They're not consistent. So we're just going to cut them as they are. Each strip is going to be two and a half, obviously, by six and a half inch, and then there's nine inch. Each block requires three nine inch and two six and a half inch strips. Go through our strips, and we're going to pair them up with contrast. And it appears that there are at least two each so we don't want them to be the same. Well, I guess if there's only two, there's going to be, we'll mix them up. Oh, that is so sweet. That is, oh, I love that fabric. That is awesome. All right, so there are all of our pairs and I am going to get them ironed and stacked and we will come back when we're ready to start cutting. Okay, so I gave every, everybody a little bit of an iron over here and I'm gonna go through one block with you. So what we're doing is we're taking our pairs and they are contrasting colors and trim off the salvage. And now we need three pieces that are nine inches. So that are six and a half. There we go. So this is the amount of scrap that we have left and that is easily two and a half inch square. So don't throw those away. Good fabric there to use. And now I will show you the block construction. We're doing one strip set like this. And then the next strip set, let me move this down. There we go. It's like that. And that goes there, and this will go there. Okay, when I have these sewn together, this is the way they're going to go together. Okay. You're going to sew the nine inch strips together in an alternating pattern like that. And then whichever is your outside. That's the color that goes on either end. And you can just see that. This will be the other block. And we're gonna sew these together. We're gonna to sew the three nine inch strips together first, and then sew the top and bottoms on. And when we are done and pressed, we will be cutting these blocks in half. So each block, each rectangular block, will create two finished blocks or two unfinished blocks at six and a half inch and then what you do is you end up switching them so this bottom half would go with this top half and to me it kind of looks like a light switch so I'm kind of calling it on off or light switch So that's what it looks like, and I will go over to the sewing machine now 
and I will sew these two together and we'll show you how the finished block looks. Finger press this. Finger press. First one, and that will make two blocks. It'll get cut in half. Okay, there is our second block all done. Now we'll go back over to the cutting table and cut these in half. Okay, we have our two finished blocks here. Okay, so these are supposed to be six and a half inches wide. Yep, they can be trimmed down to six and a half. We'll trim the, trim the pink edges off of there. And I'm going to give these a quick iron. Flippity doo da. And six and a half. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're basically just nipping off all of these little pink edges. I am absolutely adoring this fabric line. It is cute. Ah, oh, hubby brought me a snack. Okay, now we're gonna cut these. It should be 13 and a half, or 13. Yes, 13, okay. So we're just gonna And just so I don't have a coronary. Yeah, that's half an inch left, okay. the first block, there's the second block, and then they get sewed together like this. So, do we get the on off the light switch? I think it looks like a light switch, and that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Okay, so there is our block, and what, what I'm going to do now, I am going to turn off the camera, and I am going to sew all of these together, cut them up and sew them all together, and then I will come back and show you what we've got. Hello there, YouTube. Here we have it. The top is not pieced yet. All the blocks are just kind of stuck up there, but I think this looks like light switches, so I'm gonna call this on and off. And I had lots of fun with it. It's real easy. It goes together real quick. It's fantastic for chain piecing. So just have fun with it. You do, if you want to make a larger quilt, you will need more jelly rolls or you can cut your own from your stash. Two and a half inch strips are pretty easy to do. But I had this large poppycock jelly roll that had 44 pieces and you get two blocks from each piece. So 88 blocks I ended up with and it turned out real cute. Uh, it ends up being six inch finished each block, so I'll let you do the math on that. And I'm thinking I might just do a two and a half inch black border around this. So here it is, YouTube. It's all done. And I want to thank you all so very much for watching this video. I want to thank you all so much for spending your time here on my channel. And I do thank you from the bottom of, of my heart for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't done that yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It tells YouTube that you like my content and it helps push it out to other people. And if you really wanna help out, 
please share my videos with your friends and on your social media. So thanks so very much for watching this video and I will see you next time. You all have a fantastic day, a fantastic week, and God bless. Good night, Elizabeth. Good night, Campbell.